Wait, no, what we should be doing, okay. We have these cute glasses with the date of our engagement. Oh, yeah. We should be pouring like, I already poured myself a glass of wine. Before Rylan Adams would become one of the fastest growing YouTubers on the platform. Before he was a finalist for Vlogger of the Year at the Shorty Awards. Before he would find a path in entertainment as a producer and host on Clever TV. Before he would have over 4 million subscribers, more than 1 million followers on Twitter, and close to 3 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. And before he would be engaged to his longtime boyfriend and one of the biggest creators on YouTube, Shane Dawson. Rylan Adams grew up with dreams of becoming an actor. He moved out to LA during college and got a few commercial gigs before realizing that he wasn't a very good actor. His words, not mine. But he did find his way onto red carpets where he interviewed some of Hollywood's biggest names. And he started dating a pretty popular YouTuber. Now, he's one of the most popular new vloggers on YouTube. But his original channel didn't do quite as well and it was a long road to success for Ryland. But we'll take a look at all of that in this video. What's going on good people in the comments section? I hope you're having one heck of a day. My name is Jeremy Hecht and today I'll be taking you through the life and career of Ryland Adams before internet fame. If you're new here, I'm the LA host for this channel and as always, the motto is better with every video so let me know how I did and who I should cover next in the comments down below and I'll talk to you there. We've covered other YouTubers like Shane, Mr. Beast and many more. And we're also gonna start asking a question at the beginning of the video and you'll have to stick around until the end to find out the answer. Today's question is, what was Shane's opening line on Bumble when him and Rylan first matched? All right, let's get into the video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell, boom. Rylan Adams was born on May 14, 1991 in Denver, Colorado to his father Bruce and his mother Vicky, who was a receptionist and a photographer. Rylan's younger sister Morgan is actually a YouTuber also and does pretty well for herself with over 2.7 million subscribers. He went to Cherokee Trail High School where at the time, he thought he was in love with a girl. We went to the other room and I slept with a girl. That is the only girl I've ever slept with. I enjoyed it fully but since then I have been gay. And he never looked back since. After graduation, he went to Metro State University of Denver where he studied broadcast journalism. After watching the TV show Friday Night Lights, Rylan was inspired and decided he was gonna move to Los Angeles to work in entertainment. During one summer of college when he was 19, he made it his goal to go out to LA and said that if he made enough money to live out there during that summer, then he would drop out of college altogether. One of his dreams originally was to become an actor and he even shared some of his old audition tapes online. Don't act all separatist, you don't know what's going on here. No, this is for real. I'm done with you anyway. He's a real man. I'm sincerely happy for you. Just so you know, all those times I acted like I was having a good time in bed, I wasn't, I just felt sorry for you. Another one of his dreams was to become a print model. I'm guessing he meant print like magazines and not a model for printers. But could you imagine being a model for printer companies? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pose here and I'll let the editing team turn my career around. So just put a printer right here, okay? That's uh, some good paper, huh? Stop! All right, but uh, since you didn't come here to help kickstart my modeling career, you came here for Ryland, here are some of his old modeling pics. Yeah! This is giving me life, hunty. Who is she? When he first got out to LA, from the looks of his Instagram, he loved going on hikes and exploring the city. And I can understand that because in Colorado, the hiking is probably a lot harder with the air being so thin up there. And now he just loves to do yoga. But anyways, he was always focused on his true mission of making it in the business. He got an agent in LA to help him find commercial gigs and he actually booked a couple of slots when he got out to LA. One of them was a commercial for the art museum LACMA and he also booked commercials for State Farm and a few others. Enough that he never went back to college. But his first real gig was being a stunt double for Justin Bieber, yes, Prime, bang wearing, Selena Gomez loving Jay Biebs. Rylan first met Bieber on the set of CSI, and if you don't remember that episode, Justin got brutally murdered. Yeah, well, Rylan took a bullet in the back for Justin as his stunt double for that scene. He also was a stunt double for seven or eight other projects, including a Macy's ad. He started taking acting classes as well and appeared in the film Three Times a Charm in 2011 playing a student. 
In 2012, Rylan actually auditioned for Modern Family, but he soon realized that he was better at talking and hosting than acting. He began creating content and working on his skills. His first YouTube show was actually called Instafix with three X's, and the show was co-hosted by Kristen Wilson. They only ended up creating two episodes and had 14 subscribers on their YouTube channel, but hey, that's a start. Now, Instafix is not just another popular trend culture show. This is real world, heart hitting, life changing. His first gig as a host came when he emceed this K Jam's Wild Heart concert. In 2013, he began to work red carpets as a freelance host for companies like Maximo TV and Shake It Up TV. He interned for Maximo TV and says that's where he learned a lot about how to conduct interviews and create good content. He also took some hosting classes around LA and worked the red carpets of big shows like The Voice, where he interviewed some pretty big celebrities like Demi Lovato. He was putting in the work. And that was also the year that he finally got his California license plates. He also started a YouTube channel called YouTubular talking about Hollywood and pop culture news. In 2014, he shot a pilot for a show called Urban Chef with a description on his Instagram writing, testing local eats versus college students. I don't know what happened to that show, but it looked good and so did the food. In June of 2014, he also created a new online show called The Emily and Ryland Show and a show called Pop Talk. He kept working on his skills as a host and putting out online content. It just goes to show you that you always gotta put in the reps so that when the opportunity for something bigger comes around, you'll be ready. After gaining some more experience, he began working full time for the media company called Clever TV as a host and producer of their entertainment news program. And he grew his portfolio and his following online. He also upset some YouTubers by talking about their lives on his news show. I can see how that would happen, but speaking of YouTubers. In 2016, he started dating massive YouTuber Shane Dawson, and this is the first picture I found on Ryland's Instagram of the two together. After meeting a couple times in person, they actually truly connected on Bumble. If you're wondering what Shane's opening line was, well... Alright, here we go. Ryland! <laughs> hey man. Hello. How are you doing? And there's the answer to the question from the beginning of the video. The two recently got engaged, so congrats to them. The video Ryland posted to YouTube called The Story of Our Engagement is currently the number one trending video on the site at the time of this recording. Stop it, Shane. No. I'm shaking. Ryan, point down. <laughs> <laughs> started posting more consistent videos to his own YouTube channel, and every video he has now has at least a million views, but most of them have many more. He left Clever and began creating more original content, and he hasn't looked back since. But as for the rest of the story, well, you know it because this is before they were famous. My name is Jeremy Hecht. Give me a follow on the gram, link will be down below in the description, and let me know who to cover next in the comments section down below. Dream good, live better. I hope you have one heck of a day, and I'll see you in the next video.